This is the home where Phoebe Prince lived and died. On January 14th, her younger sister found her hanging in her stairwell. Now, District Attorney Elizabeth Scheibel has revealed new information about what may have pushed Phoebe over the edge. It appears that Phoebe's death on January 14th followed a torturous day for her, in which she was subjected to verbal harassment and threatened physical abuse. According to the district attorney, the day Phoebe committed suicide, she was bullied relentlessly. It started in the library when she was studying, continued into the halls, and then a bottle was thrown at her on her way home. Now, six teens have been indicted by a grand jury on a variety of charges, including violations of civil rights, criminal harassment, and stalking. The two males are being charged with statutory rape. That means they'll face a court and could receive jail time if convicted. That's about all right. I mean, the girl killed herself, so it's one thing like when you just harass somebody and they're all right with it, but then it's another thing when the girl actually kills herself and takes it to like that level. Bringing the legal system in, you know, may add a little more weight to the uh, behind this whole uh, idea of trying to eliminate school bullying. bullying. None of the faculty or administrators are facing any criminal charges, but the district attorney did say the harassment of Phoebe Prince was common knowledge among the students and staff. She said more needs to be done to educate people about